Hello everyone. In this video I want to show you how to enable SSL communication in WebLogic using the default demo identity key store. So for this I already have set up um, a WebLogic domain in which I have a couple of uh, P6 uh, managed servers being deployed and I'm gonna set up uh, SSL communication for one of them. So for this I'm going to enable um, for my P6.2 managed server, I'm going to enable SSSL uh, listen port and let's say it's gonna listen on 8081 and actually before I leave that page late, let me save it and the key store that I'm going to use. For this demo, I'm not uh, going to change the default identity store. I'm going to use um, the one provided uh, by the WebLogic domain. Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. If uh, you're interested in the security brought on by SSL, I suggest you create a custom security store. I'm gonna do a video later on on how you could do this as well but uh, for this purposes I just want to enable SSL communications at the moment and show you how this is done so let me activate these changes and once they get activated I'm gonna go back to servers and start up my managed server so it's already running I'm gonna stop it and then uh, re rest oh okay it's uh, stopped the screen wasn't refreshed. Okay, let me start it. It will take a few minutes until it starts. Depending on your system, this might vary. And I've enabled the auto refresh for the screen just so we see when when the server is back up and running. So this uh, JavaScript uh, does a partial refresh of the screen every uh, 10 seconds. Otherwise you could then go in and manually refresh the screen, but this would stop uh, the scripts from running. Oh, okay, my server is almost up. After it goes through resuming, it should be available. Okay, perfect. And now if we go to HTTPS, and I'm gonna load in localhost. Okay, I didn't write this correctly, so HTTPS localhost 8. 81 was the port number and the p6 application is deployed on uh, slash p6 so of course and now we have an established connection of course the certificate is untrusted because it wasn't signed by any authority I'm just uh, doing this for demo purposes so I'm just gonna go in and add an exception for that security uh, certificate and once this is done you should be able to log in to P6 using a secure socket layer. So this is for demo purposes or for small organizations when where you're just uh, trying to encrypt the communication, this might be enough. I don't recommend it since um, although the certificate should be secured and by default I believe it comes with a 1024 bits encryption, um, if by any chance that ever gets hacked, it will be the same for uh, all uh, the same version of WebLogic. So anybody who's using that demo identity and cracks it once will be vulnerable to that uh, uh, key translated. So that's why you need to do a custom uh, certificate. So let's try to log into this system. I'm going to log in with admin and admin. And 
as you can see, I'm doing, I'm communicating with my system through uh, a secure socket layer. If I were to do a Wireshark, for example, at this point, I would see that uh, the communication was encrypted and the only way to see what uh, is communicated is uh, by having the public key, the uh, security key to actually decrypt it. Well, thank you very much for watching and uh, good luck with setting this up.